drafting tools, materials, and equipment. Drafting tools refers to a set of tools that are used in all drafting works or activities, especially if the activity requires a mechanical presentation. Before the start of any activity, it is expected that all drawings needed must be available in the workstation. Okay, so guys, yung drafting tools, ito yung mga kagamitan like pencil, ruler, uh, T-square, triangles, yan. Yung mga gagamitin mo sa pag-drawing. Drafting materials are set of consumable items that are specifically used in drafting works or activities. The draftsman can perform his drafting task without these items. So, sa drafting materials naman, ito yung mga materials, ito yung mga nakukonsume or consumable, like bad paper, ink. Next is drawing equipment. Are the instruments, attachments, and other equipment used to make mechanical drawings. So, sa equipment naman, uh, ito yung mga instruments like computer, drawing table. So, ito yung set of tools, materials, and equipment. Yeah, sa tools, andyan yung ruler, triangle, divider, etc. etc. Sa materials naman, andyan yung tracing paper, drawing paper, masking tape, ink. Then, sa equipment naman, Uh, drafting machine, yan yung computer, drawing table, and that's it. So, isa-isahin natin sila. Ito yung una, T-square. This is made of plastic wood or combination of both. It is used for drawing horizontal lines and serves as a guide for triangles when drawing kinds of lines. So, ito yung itsura ng triangle. Uh, meron nitong uri ng kahoy, meron din plastic, at meron din combination ng kahoy at plastic. Andyan yung mga parts ng T-square. Next is ruler. A measuring stick consisting of a strip of wood or metal or plastic with a straight edge that is used for drawing straight lines and measuring lengths. Ito yung pinaka-common na Uh, drawing tools na ginagamit ng mga drops. Okay, ito yung sample ng ruler. Sunod ay triangles. Used for drawing vertical and oblique lines. The most commonly used are the 45 by 45 by 90 degree angle and the 30 by 60 by 90 degree angle. Ito yung sample nyan. Ayan. 30 by 60 and then meron 45 by 45 by 90 degree angle. Next, triangular scale. The type of scale commonly used for general drawing. The scale has various divisions. Its sole purpose is to reproduce the dimension of an object, full size on a drawing, or to reduce or enlarge them to some regular proportion. So, ang purpose niya ay magpaliit at magpalaki ng dimensions. So, ito yung sample picture ng triangular scale. Yan. Sunod naman is technical pen. A technical pen is a specialized instrument used by an engineer, architect, or drafter to make lines of constant width for architectural engineering or technical drawings so yung technical pen yan kung mapapansin nyo binubuo siya meron siya iba ibang klase ng uh, thickness ng kanyang lines okay, meron siyang 0.18 0.25 0.35 0.50 and 0.70 uh, from thin to thick Next is mechanical pencil. A mechanical pencil, also known as the clutch pencil. This is a pencil with a replaceable and mechanically extendable solid pigment core called a lid. And the lid, often made of graphite, is a knot bonded to the outer casing and can be mechanically extended as its point is worn away 
as it is being used. So in mechanical term, yan. Okay, technical pencil. So sa technical pencil, ito siya. Yan. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi siya ordinary yung pencil. So, pwede siyang palitan ng lead. Uh, so, ito yung pwedeng lead na pamalit sa kanya. Okay, so, ginagamit ito ng mga architect, engineers. So, sa mga student ko, pwede kung hindi na muna kayo gumamit nito, uh, at mag-tis muna kayo sa ordinary yung lapis. Okay? Okay, next is pencil. The drawing pencil is one of the draftsman's most important tool. They come in different grades and of hardness, indicated by numbers and letters found on one end. They range in grade of hardness from 9B, the softest, to the medium grade F and 9H, the hardest. The grade of the pencil to be used depends upon the nature of work being done as well as the kind of paper to be used. Ito yung sample ng graphite wooden pencil. Yung 8B, ito yung soft pencil softest. Uh, dark siya. So, the darkest. And then, sa 6H naman, ito yung hard pencil. Ito naman yung pinaka lighter sa lahat. Next. Okay. Pencil sharpener or pen knife. Pencils should be sharpened whenever they show signs of dullness. A pen knife or pencil sharpener is usually used to remove the wood from the lid. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag na pantasa. Yan. So kung wala kayo niyan, yung gamitin nyo ay knife. Chilyo, kaya cutter, slicer. Yan, pwede gamitin niyan. Next is drawing templates. A drafting template is a flat piece of plastic with standard symbols cut in it. The drafting template's shapes are used as guides for drawing symbols on plants. So, ayan. Ito yung mga templates. Ba, gagawa ka ng oblong, nandiyan siya. Gagawa ka ng circle from bigger to smaller. Ayan. May rectangle. Kompleto yan dyan. Kung ano yung gusto mong symbol na uh, gustong i-drawing. Next is protractor. A semicircular scale divided into 180 equal parts, each of which is called a degree. It is used for measuring and laying out arcs and circles as well as angles that cannot be measured with either 45 degree or 30 by 60 triangles. So, ginagamit siya to measure angles. Next, dusting brush. Uh, these dusting brushes feature wooden handles for the easy removal of the razor shavings, dust and dirt from drawings or drafting surfaces without smudging. A brush, yan. Simple as brush. A racing shield. A racing shield is useful tool to protect the rest of the drawing when making an erasure. This is a shield. So, kung gusto mong burahin yung mga itong part lang, so pwede mo siyang gamitan ng racing shield. Sunod, compass and divider. Compass used for drawing arcs or circles. And then the divider naman, nearly identical with the compass. Used to divide something distance to several same division to or to move something distance once or repeat. So, identical sila. Halos pagkaparehas lang sila ng gamit. Ayan. Ayan yung compass. Ayan yung divider. So, yung compass, pwede mo siyang gamitin divider. So, yung divider... Pwede rin. Pwede nang gamitin mong compass. Okay. Punta naman tayo sa drafting materials. Ayung una is yung bond paper. 
So, meron tayong short and long bond paper. Bond paper is a durable paper that is especially suitable for electronic printing and used in office machines including copiers and network and desktop printers. Yeah, bond paper. Tracing paper is a paper made to have low opacity allowing light to pass through. It's named as such for its ability for an image to be traced unto it. It was originally developed for architects and design engineers to create drawing which could be copied precisely. So, ayan siya, yung tracing paper. Malinaw siya na ano, na klase ng papel. So, node is A3 drawing paper. An A3 piece of paper measures 297 by 420 mm or 11.7 by 16.5 inches. Cutting it in half will create two A4 sheets of paper. Okay, yan yung A3. Pag hinati mo siya, magiging A4. Pen and ink eraser. So, erasers are used to clean dirt off the drawing and remove smears, pencil, or ink lines. Ayan, mga eraser. So, pwede siya sa ink, pwede siya sa pencil. Masking tapes. Used for fastening paper to the drawing board or table. It may be used either by attaching a short piece across each corner or by taping the entire edge of the paper. So, ayan yung masking tape. Pwede mo siyang gamitin kanto-kanto lang. Pwede naman buong kanto. Lagyan mo ng masking tape para hindi talaga siya kumalaw. Kaya ginagamit yung masking tape kasi madali siyang matanggal sa band paper. Hindi siya masyadong didikit sa band paper pag tinanggal mo na. Sunod, ink. Ink, fluid, or paste of various colors, but usually black or dark blue, used for writing and printing. So, ayan yung klase ng ink. Okay, dako naman tayo sa drafting equipment. Drafting table or drawing board. This is where the drawing paper is laid and fastened. Their working edge should be perfectly straight and their surface trim and smooth as this is the place which the T-square is moved. Yan. So, dapat daw makinis yung drawing board mo kasi nga, dyan, uh, dyan nagmove yung T-square natin. Lalong lalo na dito sa edge na to. Dapat straight siya. Perfectly straight. Next, drafting machine. A drafting machine is a tool used in technical drawing consisting of a pair of scales mounted to form a right angle on an articulated protractor head that allow an angular rotation. So, ito yung sample ng drafting machine. Next is Leroy. Mechanical lettering is done using tools such as lettering guides, templates, or using a small mechanical pantograph referred to by the Kiofel and Isert trademark Leroy. So, ito yung ginagamit sa pag-lettering. Okay, the last one is computer. A computer is a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically via computer programming. Yan. So, yung computer, ginagamit na sa drafting, paggagawa ka na ng computer-aided drawing. So, that's it. That's the end of our video regarding drafting tools, materials, and equipment. Uh, sana ay may mga napulot kayong kahit konting aral man lang. 
may mga natandaan kayo kung hindi nyo siya matandaan okay, just play back the video and that's it thank you for watching and God bless